So, when I came to your room, um, I sent you an email um, about your task, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is my task, and this was your task. I just wrote down what you had, right? right? You remember that task? Okay. So, just look at my task, then I want you to compare the two. More so specifics. You know, I see where you say it said describe significance of you telling on one side what to write on, what to write, and then on the other side what you pretty much want. So you writing reform in the 19th century on the right side. You know, on the left so side. The standard is covering what? It's it's, it's covering the second uh, the second great awakening, but it's also covering all the reforms in it. Okay. So comparing contrast my task and your task. Well, for the most part, I would tell you what I did not have. I did not have a, another brochure where they can kind of use it as an example and also draw uh, like the comparison and the contrast. Of, but with yours, it's more so uh, telling the influence of the reform and then on uh, the influence on the Great Awakening. Right so basically, you try to tell them to describe the Great Awakening, but it's also including everything that's in the standard. It's in the standard, right. So are you missing anything with yours? Your taste? I would say I'm not, but this is more precise because I got this exercise out of the book in which it came from that, that that's the only difference. Right, so we do have to be careful about using the textbooks as well because they do have, um, they're not always completely aligned with the standard. Right. So I think that, um, like you stated, if you look at the way the standard is written, it's already written for you. Right. And so what you want kids to do is to be able to do this standard. Correct. You understand what I'm saying? And so they're not going to be questioned about. Overlay. Ab absolutely. And getting potential students and explaining why the college differs from other colleges and blah, blah, blah. Which is really a good activity. But in the end, they're supposed to do what? Well, the person that was in the reform that created the, the college, that's the reason why I kind of drew from the college. We were talking about different things that the people did, that the, uh, the reformers did. Right. So but, I understand. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. overall, what you got to do is make sure that your task is completely aligned with this. Right. Um, because you don't want them to um, zero down or narrow their thoughts about the Second Great Awakening only on Oberlin College. Right. Definitely right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that your task and your um, standard is aligned. Yes. And most times the social studies st standards are already aligned. Right. You just gotta make them fit um, the evaluation piece. It's, it's easy. I'm so I, I took your same activity and I plugged in the standard, which right. you saw it. They just want them to be able to describe the significance and talk about its influence on, on reform. And so they can still create your brochure, but just make sure that your task is aligned. And the brochure, this brochure is more so breaking down all of it, opposed to just singling out that, which they probably, like you said, it ain't covering everything up in there. So this is my example. So now I want you to create a quick task. Same standard. I want you to create, a, create your own task. Okay, so, yeah, I say, um, it don't necessarily have to be a brochure, but regardless of what they're producing, they have to be able to do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I can, I can, I can really put something like put uh, break down like a uh, a pamphlet or a trifold or whatever it may be. And just put like label all the pioneers of the, the Great Awakening, the second Great Awakening. And then I can 
and just tell them like um, design uh, a media guide. Design a media guide with all of the leaders of the and, and describe. Mm -hmm. Just be right with the That's it. Or not. See how easy it is? Oh. Be because you're, mo most times um, when you look at the blooms, um, levels, most of your standards, because the way you search that is is really, yeah. it's already higher level. So you just got to come about up. This is probably the first time I actually done this, that I'd actually been doing it on my own, that it wasn't completely aligned with the thing. <laughs> I know it. And I know it. And it, it caught my attention because it wasn't um, the same plan that I saw. Right. And so that's why I had to call you on this one. Right, and but that's fine. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You, you it just, just gotta make sure that it's aligned. Even though, like, this is a great activity, but they, it may be like a nugget up right. one of the uh, lower levels. But in the end, this is what they gotta be able to do. Correct. And so I did pull some, um, I pulled some other stuff. So um, you, know you might can use this during the blitz, but what you want to also start using is some of these DBQs, the document-based questions. Um, and I got these offline um, because they'll be given some documents and then they'll have questions. And I just did that. I'm going to show you one of the tags I just did the other day. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these were some of the questions that he